Hello YouTubers. I want to show you a little bit about the EVAP system. This is a 01 Elantra. They can't put gas in it. There's some kind of restriction. So I want to give you some ideas so you're not chasing your tail. Now one of them is get yourself a heater hose or something that's going to fit snug in here. And what you're going to do is you're going to blow on this end. Now, when you blow on it, make sure it's tight in there. If you feel any kind of restriction whatsoever, or after you take your mouth off, you get a little blowback, that means you have a restriction somewhere. Now, one way to figure out whether it's in the canister or the gas tank is drop the canister. It's usually not that hard. And then blow in here again and see if the restriction's gone. If it's still there, it's something in the tank or the lines are plugged. And they'll give you a good idea of what's going on. Now, of course, if you can blow through it with the canister off, then the plug is in the canister. Now, let me show you a little bit about the canisters. I, I'm the kind of guy is I want to know how stuff works. And if I can't find anything online to figure out how it works, then... I'm going to take it apart. So here's what I did. I hope you can see, okay. Um, this was on here, and of course it was flat, but I had to bend it so I could cut it. And these are the charcoal pellets that came out of it. Now they were in this part and this part, and this appears to be spring loaded. I guess it keeps it compact. I hope you can see, okay. Uh, put white paper down so everything would be contrasted a little bit um, Now also What I didn't realize is this air filter could also be plugged up Okay, now all it is is basically is Wraps around there. I also cut the top off by the way. Oh, sorry. Um, I used a torch And heated up the middle of the knife so most of it would be hot and that's what I use to cut. And of course, when I'm going to put it back together, I'm probably going to weld some of it. I have a plastic welder. Or if you don't have that, you can use the hot butter knife with the torch and heat it up. Now, use the cheap green tanks. Um, I also have a burns matic over here uh, with a... Uh, map gas can that burns a lot hotter but it's a lot more expensive too you can get these pretty cheap at Walmart so just use them anyway get get it good and hot don't have to be cherry but if, if it's starting to turn cherry you'll get be able to work with it for a few seconds and cut and what I did was I cut the top of this off around here don't go too deep just enough to get the top off now when I went to pull the top off I didn't realize that it was also here with a ridge so what I did was I heated it up in the middle right down the middle here and I bent it up so I could get that knife back in there and cut along here now these charcoal pellets you want to smell them if you're going to take yours apart I mean I don't suggest it um, unless you're willing to go through a little bit of work to get it apart and then um, Weld it back together, or you can use uh, RTV silicone, but you want to make sure you use the kind that is sensor safe because these fumes will get sucked into the motor and you don't want to mess up your catalyst or your um, oxygen sensors and it can mess them both up. So make sure you get the sensor safe kind, I think it's a little bit uh, grayer than, than the black silicone RTV silicone. Okay, so I cut this ridge off. You can see that ridge right there. To get it angled right. That ridge was actually solid, and I had to fold this up, heat it up with the torch across here, across here, and then fold it up so you can get your knife under there and then cut that out. Okay. Now, over here is another canister. I, I this is this is the one I bought from a junkyard. This is the one off the the Elantra. Now, I smelled gas. So I decided I was going to 
hook my compressor up, run it down to about five or six pounds, okay? Turn the, turn the uh, adjuster screw down here for the uh, regulator. And then I put a little tape around the end of this. You can hear it now. But, uh, and then I put a wire, I put a tie on here, plastic tie, so that it would fit tight inside of the closed vent valve. Now, my intention is to dry it out. And evidently, it's working. Because over here, I have a Sentex scale I got pretty cheap from Harbor Freight. And when I first started weighing it, it was... 5.302 pounds. After about a half hour of blowing air through it, it went down to 5.0. I'm sorry, 5.112. Then after about another 20 minutes, it went to 5.080. So I'm going to keep blowing air in that thing. And actually, when you smell the outlet tube right here, this is this is uh, blowing through here through all these charcoal pellets and then right back out here. And I could actually smell it, smell fuel coming out of that hose. And I still do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep blowing through there until it stops dropping in weight. Now that's pretty significant that it went from, I got pellets all over the place. I don't know if you can reuse these pellets again, but I'm certainly gonna try. So that's about all I got to show you here. Now these uh, evap canisters are good on the Elantras, Tiburons, everything from like I think 99 to maybe 04 or maybe even higher. They use the same canister. So this is just to get a good idea. Now oh, I want to also show you this. Don't cut the back off. This is the part that would go up against the uh, body cut the flat flatter part off it's not uh, it's got these little ridges in here I hope you can see them and that way you can and but you know what if I would have thought if I would have known how it was designed I would have done this air thing first and just keep blowing and blowing and blowing until uh, there's no more gas in there now is that going to dry out the um, pellets I don't know these ones I took out of here don't really have a smell to them. Maybe a little bit of fuel smell, but of course you got fuel vapors. That's what they do. They they catch fuel vapors. Now, if you're saturated with gasoline uh, to where it's running out, then you have a problem with probably uh, what's called your um, fluid vapor separator. Now, I'm not really sure what it looks like. Um, I think it's on the tank or next to the tank. I'm not really sure. Every one is different. Uh, not a whole lot of information on the internet that I could find anyway, but um, I'm going to try it and uh, see what happens. Um, this one here I think is going to be the one I'm going to put back on the car because I think I'm going to blow all the gas at it and get her lighter. Okay, enough rambling on. That's just something I wanted to show you. Um, and hopefully this can help you out in some way. Um, and until the next video, have a good one.